So I'll have an easy half-life problem and then one that's a little bit more challenging. So to start with, let's do the easy one. When you see a um, isotope given, potassium-42, ignore the 42, it's part of its name. So what matters is that you know what the half-life is, and you know how much you start with, and you know how long they want to look at the decay. And so this is just the simple formula that the amount remaining will equal how much you start with, so your starting amount, divided by 2, because it's half-life, to the n, where n is your number of half-lives. So n is going to equal the number of your half-lives. And to figure that out, how many times you go through that half-life, you just take your total time, divided by your half-life, and that's going to equal your n. So let's just see what we've got. So um, it tells me my starting amount. So I have 848 grams of it. So that is my starting amount check. So I know I'm going to divide it by 2. And then I need to figure out this n. So do they give me stuff to help me? Yes. So they tell me my total time that's going to pass is 62 hours. And they tell me my half-life is 12.4 hours. So as long as they're in the same unit, we can divide, and we find that we have five half-lives that it's going to go through. So I can take 848 and divide it by 2, and I can do that five times, or I can just raise it to the fifth power on my calculator. And so if I do 2 to the fifth, I'm going to find that that's 32. And so 848 divided by 32 is going to give me 26.5 grams remaining. So that's that answer. Now, if you want a little harder question, a little bit more challenging, let's look at number two. So on question number two, in this problem, let's kind of plug in what we know again. So we have the 21.6 um, hours of this chromium 48, and it tells me that's its half-life. So I know that half-life is 21.6 hours. But in this case, it's looking for how long it will take. It's looking for that total time. So I remember that total time divided by my half-life is going to give me n. So let's look at our formula then. Remember that if we take our starting amount, and so how long will it take for 360 grams of chromium? So we have 360 grams. We know we're going to divide it by 2 to the n, but in this case it tells me the answer. It tells me I'm going to have 11.25 grams remaining. So my goal here is to solve for n. So if I can solve for n, I can work this out. So if I take 36, 360, um, and I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to the n, That's going to cancel out the 2 to the n over here. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 11.25 grams. So if I work that out, 360 divided by 11.25 is 32. So I know that 32 is equal to 2 to the n. So I can either start just plugging in numbers and say, okay, well, 2 squared... Well, 2 squared is 4. No, that's not the answer. 2 to the 3rd is 8. Well, that's going to get me there. 2 to the 4th is 16. And so then 2 to the 5th, if I plug that in, that's 32. So I can see that really quickly that n is equal to 5. So I can work that out. And I know that's equal to 5. Another way you could work this problem is by doing logs. And so I could say the log of 32, make sure you close that parentheses on the 32 in your calculator, divided by the log of 2, so anytime you're looking for n, you're just going to log whatever you've got, divided by the log of 2, and that's going to equal to 5. So now I know that n is 5. I'm going through 5 half-lives. 
So if n is 5, I know my half-life is 21.6 hours. So then what is going to be, I know it's going to popped in here, what is going to be my total time? It's just 5 times 21.6 hours. So if I work that out pretty quickly, I get 108 hours. So I know that my answer is 108 hours. So that's how we could work through that problem, kind of work it a little bit backwards.